next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, DC. And I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level. From the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling is takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 166 pounds. Fighting out of Yerevan, Armenia, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. In the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, and even for a Boston guy, I have. Whoa! <laughs> well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Leg kick. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Look at the commitment to 
kicking in this fight. Throws the right hand there. Get back to Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, collar tie. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw columns after the block the shot. Lee's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Big punch lands to the middle. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. The head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's going to put him to sleep. Blocks the shot. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. And there comes the separation now. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, Mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks, and you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. You can't take many of those, you better check. Unable to somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. What a body kick. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh! Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Final seconds of round one. Oh, a huge block there. Great little fresh screen doing the job. Great job. Excellent work. All those rounds on the pads in the gym have paid off. Now we're gonna continue. Keep doing exactly what we're doing. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready? You ready? Round two underway. Punch over the top. Just missed with that right hand. Left hook to the head. Another punch to the head. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ah, he's been 
working hard defensively. Kick block there. Went for the inside leg kick. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he wants to try to chase down that pick. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, straight right. Let's go. Let's get that right working. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Yeah. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. He loaded up there on that high kick. Do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the you fight. You got to start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take a clean and you cannot take a ball. He has a commitment to kicking tonight and it shows. Knee is blocked. Right there by Lee. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. Beautiful kick. And he landed the right hand there. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, oh. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. Hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Lee gets hit with a kick. Seconds left to go in round two. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. All right, that's the end of round number two. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here. And you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there.
He thought he had him. But the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. But he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning. And you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big kick land. Powerful leg kick land. Sneaky head kick. Lee's face is a hot mess, man. That cut on his cheek is getting worse by the minute and worse with every strike landed by his opponent. It's okay. It's your defense. It's your defense now. Punch is blocked. Dig and kick. The low kick is there. Massive head kick. Oh! Real quick leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Just misses with the left hook. Nice kick. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one come. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. There it is. Take the shot now. Take the shot. There it is. Come on, guys. Got this Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Nice punch lands over the top. Try to establish that jab. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Pretty good right hand. It's such a fast leg kick. Unable to land with that punch. of your opponent with those leg kicks. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Lee gets touched by that kick there. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, big left! What a fight! Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Big knee there to the chest. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lee's cut on his cheek is nasty. Thank God these guys are tough, because that thing will not stop bleeding at this point in time. 20 seconds to go. Good punch, Lance.
just misses there with the left. Oh, and he caught the kick. That's oh, three rounds in the can. Oh, we're headed oh, oh, oh. to the championship round. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh! Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Good stick. Right up the elbow, the body kick lands. Big kick lands. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. Blocks the strike. Look at him chopping the woods. Chop the woods with those leg kicks. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, big punch land. Come on, buddy. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Oh, what a job to call him. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. And now he's got him hurt bad. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. Big kick land. Just misses with the straight right. Nice punch, Lance. Ooh. Back and forth we go. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Look at the turtles in that kick.
five seconds remain in the round. Come on, guys, keep moving. Let's go. Oh, that's a good right hand. Just unable to quite find that range. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Twenty seconds left. Nice strike. Went for the inside leg kick. Final seconds of round four. Nice kick. like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Way to hide that leg kick. Checks the leg kick. Big kick land. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Superman punch lands! Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Head kick. He blocks the punch. Big punch lands. Ooh. Nice leg kick land. Back and forth we go here. <laughs> Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Right hand punch from the clinch. Slips the punch. Strike. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Section. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Straight right hand, no good. the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Back and forth we go. Straight punch lands. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Let's go, take the cage, take the cage. Yeah, cut him off. Look at the good action that comes from him throwing that kick. You gotta get that take down. Big power shot there. Thank you. 
great punch landed with so much power. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, Superman punch! Under one minute remains in round five. Nice punch lands over the top. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Seconds to go in the fight. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a cop? Oh! What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so the fight goes the distance. Both guys had their moments, but there was a striking advantage, albeit slight, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get his hand raised. It should be enough. I mean, when you watch the fight, you understand that you are watching two of the best mixed martial artists in the world. But it did look like he did just enough to earn a competitive decision. decision is in Bruce Buffer has it ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision judge one scores this contest 48 47 assassin judge two scores it 48 47 Lee and judge three scores it 48 47 for the winner by split decision assassin Ooh, those split decisions are something else he is happy to exhale at this point in time. It was a close fight, and the judges certainly felt that way as well. It's the worst feeling in the world. When you go to the middle and you're just not sure, your heart is beating so fast, especially when you hear your opponent's name called right before you ultimately win the fight. He put in a lot of work. He fought through the adversity. He got the job done. He should be very proud. Put it all together and it forced the one thing.